Number 43, rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assigned. And then we have letter D. So we have to rank in terms of increasing acidity of HOCl, HOCLO, HOCLO2, and HOCLO4. Okay, so right off the bat, this is a little confusing to me, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group the total amounts of oxygens. I see for these three, there's oxygen and oxygen, oxygen and oxygen, oxygen and oxygen. So you can always just rearrange these in terms of, you know, where you want to put your oxygens. I'm going to keep this one the same because this one only has one oxygen, but this one secretly has two. So I'm just going to say this is like HClO2. This one has three oxygens, so that would be HClO3. And then we have four oxygens here, so HClO4. And they want this from increasing acidity, which means that I have to start off with least acidic and work my way to most acidic. So the first thing is I have to figure out what types of acids are these. But for each one of them, I see that I have an oxygen. Or actually, I see I have an oxygen as I write the hydrogen. I see that I have a hydrogen right, in all of them, H, 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 and H. And I see that I have an oxygen. It does not matter whether it's in the middle, like HOCl, or in these that I wrote down, the oxygens are in the back, but it just, ha it just matters that you see an oxygen, and then you see a random element. In this case, it's chlorine, chlorines all day, Cl, 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 Cl. These are oxoacids. But the thing here is that it's all the same element. We're basically comparing chlorine to chlorine to chlorine to chlorine. That would be the element that you would try to see on the periodic table. But since they're all the same, we have to go by a different trend. But the trend here is pretty simple. For oxoacids and only oxoacids, the more oxygens that you have in your compound, the more acidic. So the higher number of oxygen, the higher number of oxygens, the more acidic your compound is going to be. So this has one oxygen, this has two, three oxygens, and four. The one with the higher number of oxygens is the most acidic. So the most acidic would be HO, and I'm just going to write it as what it was, HOCLO3, and the least acidic would be the one but the one um, oxygen, and then comes the twoer, so H-O-C-L-O, -O. and then we have H, kind of, this is not a straight line, but that's okay, H-O-C-L-O-2, let's just pull this one up a little bit, let's pull this one up a little bit, beautiful. Now we just have to put in our arrows, least acidic to more acidic, so H-O-C-L would be less acidic than H-O-C-L-O, which is less acidic than HOClO2, which is less acidic than HOClO3. And that is your answer. But now we just have to figure out what the explanation is. Well, it turns out that because of this, the more oxygens equal the more acidic, this is because the, um, we'll say, greater the formal charge and I'll say formal charge. Remember, that's the oxidation state. Formal charge, oxidation state, tomato, tomato. Uh, greater the formal charge on the central atom. And the central atom is always going to be the one that is not the hydrogen or the oxygen. In this case, it's chlorine. So if you actually did your math and solved for those formal charges on chlorine, you will see that in this one, this Cl will have the highest formal charge and this one will have the lowest. So the higher the positive number, because all these are going to be positive, the higher the positive number, the more acidic. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.